Hey everyone, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're actually going to uh, show you how to do a spinning gun effect. Now this is, this we used in a movie that we did or a short film we did a little while back where a helicopter is shooting at a person, as you can see from this scene. He jumps on the gun, flies above his head, we slowed it down a little bit there and then he caught it and started shooting at the helicopter and so on. Now, the cool thing about that was that we obviously didn't have a real gun. We've, we've got a real a real rifle to actually use, but we didn't want to jump on the barrel and fling it in the air and try and get that perfect shot. So the rifle throwing it flying through the air is animated. And how we did that is we grabbed a some footage of this. This is how we basically did this. So this, this is our, a wall that's in my house. Um, that's my wife in the background doing washing. I apologize. <laughs> But as you can see here, I've put a, uh, a drill bit in the, in the barrel of the gun and there's a, obviously a drill at the bottom. So what we've done is there's me getting it in position in front of the blue wall. And I'll just show you, I'll just cut it there. If you need to actually chop footage, I'm not sure if you know, but if you select the footage, do Alt left bracket and that'll cut the footage wherever the, uh, the red line is. That'll cut the start of the footage. I want to do say three seconds of this. You go alt right bracket and that'll trim the other end of it. So now you've got three second footage. And the good thing about this is it actually goes past the light that we set up. You see the shadow across here. The light bounces off the gun, which gives it that more of a realistic effect because it's a real object reflecting real light. Uh, and what we did here, I'll just turn that off for a second. Turn, use the eye to turn it off so you can't see that footage. Just get, we'll trim it from where my friend runs in. that back to here and hit left bracket and that'll bring your footage back to the start and it runs off screen about there <coughs> excuse me so now you've got this this footage of a person running across the screen ready to catch the gun and about here is where we cut it to a close of where he just threw the gun the actual physical gun in the air and caught it again and I showed him actually him just catching it so it worked really well cool thing about this is the spinning gun just turn it back on. Is you just draw a mask around that. So you select the mask tool up here. Sorry, select the layer, select the mask tool up top here. And just give it enough room for the the handle and it to spin past. And you just make sure you don't get the drill bit at the bottom there. Now we've got a perfect uh, Perfect blue image of the rifle. Now I'll just make sure, just animate. Oh, sorry, run that through. Make sure I didn't cut any of the rifle off, which I haven't. It's all in frame. We'll turn off the bottom layer at the moment, so we've got a black background. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we do basically is you go to Effect and select Keying and Key Light, and just select the blue. It gets rid of the blue in the background. Now if you go to where it says Final Result here and change that to screen matte. You can see that down the bottom here there is some white artifacts in the black area and in the gun there is a little bit of black artifacts in the white area. So what you do is you go to screen matte on the side here and clip black. And you bring the black across just to take out any, any white and then you go clip white and you just bring that forward to make sure you don't get any black in there. So as you see that round you can see through here there's a little bit of this artifact coming through so you just clip it a little bit more like so and now we have you can see a little bit of white there so black and the white so you just clip that through as best you can and there you have it if you change it back to final result up the top here and then turn your footage on you have a perfect rifle spinning by itself. Now the cool thing about this is I'll just grab the rotation tool up top here and just select spinning gun and just rotate that so it's horizontal. Now it's spinning like this. Now the cool thing about this is that you've got an object that's spinning one way and then we're, we're going to animate it to spin another way. So it's actually going up and down spinning and then we're going to animate it this way. So it'll look like it's actually twisting through the air which is what makes it look real? If you use an image and just use an actual image of a, of a gun, it would just be rotating from here. It would look really, really fake. 
So first of all, we're going to get the scale right. So I'll probably drop that back down to maybe, oh sorry, you click on uh, the arrow next to the, the actual, the mask, click transform, and the scale, probably make it about 40%. It's pretty close. If you actually put that in his arms, it'd be pretty close, maybe a bit bigger, but anyway, that'll do for now. Okay, and you've got him coming in from the start here. You want to basically have this coming in up above him. Okay, so we start off, we're going to animate the position of it first. Okay, so you click the position stopwatch here. That'll create a starting point of the position there. Then you scroll forward to where he just about catches the gun. So you just drag your footage across. And probably have it just off screen there like that. Okay, now at the moment it's just doing this, but it's twisting through the air. So you go about halfway in the middle and then just bring it up. Just like that. What that does, that gives us an up arc and a down arc as it comes towards him. Go back to your start again and click on the rotation. And then scroll to the end and just change the degrees to 360. Now we've got a gun that's spinning one way and spinning the other. It's a pretty simple effect really. See, as you can see, it's twisting one way and it's twisting the other. So it's and it's reflecting light at the same time. Of course, we'd cut it in the last one, I think the gun was about here, but you'd cut it about there and then have the close-up of the actor catching it. See, so it's reflecting light there, which is kind of cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, that doesn't look real enough, mainly due to the fact that he's blurry and that's perfectly clear, which is a shame because it looks good, but it doesn't look real. So the simplest way to do this for this particular effect is you select your spinning gun. I'll just put in the shot there so you can see it. Select your spinning gun. Select motion blur tab here. And then select motion blur for the layer. And it'll actually create a blur in the object. If you can't see that, there's a toggle switch button down the bottom. You just click on that. Now, if this is what you're normally seeing, click on the toggle switches and you'll get your motion blur tab there. What that does now, if I just take, click off that, if you watch it, it's a blurry gun flying through the air for him to catch. The only thing wrong with this now would be maybe a shadow on the ground for the gun, so you could duplicate that, bring it down low, and then just feather it out so it's a dark, faint shadow. We actually didn't do that because we have a lot of bullets and things flying up here and there's no way you ever would have seen it, so we left it out, but normally you'd put that in. And for all those people who sit there and comment about me uh, smashing the keys on my keyboard, the microphone's right next to my keyboard. Even though I'm tapping it quite lightly, it sounds like I'm, I've got a hammer with a brick on the back sitting on an elephant smashing my keyboard. That isn't the case. <laughs> so, please no comments on the keyboard smashing it this time. I'm actually quite gentle with them. <laughs> Alright, so I hope this helped. And uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to uh, send me a message. If you have any more tutorial ideas, send me a message. And I hope this helped for future people future endeavors for everybody. The cool thing about this is you can use this for a knife, if you want to do a throwing a knife at somebody, um, spaceship out of control, get those kind of things, plane out of control, you could just film it one way and rotate it the other and it looks like it's out of control. It's a really easy and simple and cool effect. Okay, thanks. Speak to you next time. Bye.